What it looks like is something like this. So it can be just dots, right? Or it can be, because this one has the triangles drawn. And what it's used for is to help you draw three-dimensional shapes. And it's also used in plans and elevation, which we will do in the section after this one. So, for example, let's say I want to draw a rectangular prism with side lengths, I don't know, two, four, and three, something like that. Okay? So what you do is I can start here. There's my two. One, two, three, four. And then three back. One, two, three. So isometric paper helps you draw these three-dimensional shapes. That's the purpose of it. Okay? Now, for the first section in the, in the textbook, it just involves you drawing shapes. And then it involves you drawing scale shapes, meaning this one I drew was two, four, and three. But after, I could say that each one of these, for example, is two instead of one unit, right? So then this would be four, eight, and six. But it just involves you drawing these different shapes. So let's say I draw, I'll just draw another one. It'll look very similar to the last one. I already made a mistake, but I'll fix it. Okay, so let's say I have this shape here. And I tell you that this side length is 8 meters, let's say. I want you to find the other two side lengths. How would I do that with uh, this type of paper, this type of drawing? So I've told you that that one short side there is 8 meters. How do I find the other sides? Uh, the, the height of the one, uh, one of the other. Okay. First, let's find the height, and then okay. it's going to be the same all around. This, this is shorter than this. No, they're, no, they're, they're meant to be the same. This is meant to be the same like this. Yes. Because everywhere you have a line is the same length. You don't measure across like that. You measure this, 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 or that. And they're all meant to be the same length. So I know where you were going though. If this is eight, then what's the length of one? Four. Four, exactly. So one of these is four meters. So then I need to find the lengths of the rest of it. So how would I find the length of this side? Four times four. Yes, yeah, one, two, three, four. So if each one is four, then that makes this 16 meters. And then how would I find this set? Four times three. Same thing. One, two, three, four. So that would also be 16 meters. See, it's three and two halves. Say that again. Three and two halves. It's four. But it's half and three and then. Aha! I see what you mean. Okay, okay. You're confusing me. I thought you meant, yeah, but that would be the same thing. So, okay, gotcha. So, that's how that would work. If you're given a picture and it tells you a certain scale or just the length of one side, then you find the length of one unit and you can calculate the rest. So, so far, nothing too fancy, right? So, that is the entire section for the first part, 5.4, okay? Just deals with drawing pictures, you give lengths, you find the other sides, it gives you specific ones to draw, then it tells you different shapes like this. Now the next part deals with plans and elevations. Now that is a little bit tougher. So I will try the one example they have here. 
So what they do is they remember, actually I should probably remind you, we did which, this here about plans and elevation. Chapter 5, same one we're working on, right? We wrote out the definitions of these here. So a plan is a view of an object from above. Elevation is an object from the front or the side, okay? So what they do here is they give you different viewpoints. So they give you a plan, front, or a plan view, which is a view from above. Then it gives you several different elevations from this picture. So I'm going to draw, draw, draw that picture. So we have There we go. So that's the picture they give you. They give you that. And they ask you to draw the plan view of this and then the ele or, sorry, elevation views of three different sides. Okay? So if I were to look at this from above, so I'm above this picture, what you would draw is just the parts here that you see on top, or the top of our picture, right? So all you would draw is you have three blocks here, right? So I have three blocks here. This one would be the first one. This goes up to that one. And then you also have this one at the back. So I know my picture isn't quite the best. But this block would be this one. Then I have two here, right? This one is the top of this, and this one is that one next. It's a little bit like, yeah, I, I do the best. Kind of, actually, yes. It's, it's very often there. Yes, you are actually right. That is often there. So with something like this, it doesn't always come easy to people. For me, for example, I can take that shape, picture it in my head, rotate it around, do whatever I want to it, and then draw what I need to. But most people can't really do that. Um, so you have to take it one step at a time. So when I say look overhead, start with one of the blocks. And then say, okay, what would be around this one? Another one here, one above, one next to it, and then this one is next to that one. Then. Like you have to do it one piece at a time. And then you can draw your plan view. So now, let's say I was want to draw the elevation looking at it from this angle, and looking at it from that side. Then I do the same thing. This, by the way, should be a line. Um, then I do the same kind of idea. I'll start with, say, this block here. So I have that block. Next to it is one more. Then I have two on top. That one there. One, two. Then if I go up one, that would be this block here, it shows up there, and then that would be it. That would be my view from that side. That's all I would see. Does that, do you understand how I'm doing that? Mm -hmm. um, and if this is too hard, another way to make it even easier is you can shade in the blocks or the different pieces as you go. So that you know you've got all the ones that you would view from that side. Oops, I'm too far. Then I'll do one more. Let's say we're viewing it from this side. Again, I have these three blocks on the bottom. So I can just draw one, two, three. I have one on top of this one here. There's nothing on top of this one, because there's nothing on above. And then on top of this one, I have two more. So that would be my elevation view from this end. Not too bad? So what I have... ...is... I took the liberty of printing off the isometric paper for you. And starting on page 48, you can work through 
Page 48, 49, and 50. 50 is the section on this. Okay? So go through that. If you have any questions, let me know. Then...